This is a 69. I can't believe that BMW made a motorcycle that looked like a Harley, unless I'm wrong. But what I really also especially want to record is this right here. This 40s Chevrolet. It might be the only one I think that I've ever seen that was actually bone starf. These are the type of trucks that are always modified. They're always hot rod. And here's one here in factory, original condition. And these, of course, were very popular because of this jukebox style grill. I remember I filmed one of these years ago uh, at a show, a small show in Rapantigny. And, uh, but it, it wasn't totally original though. It still had been modified, even though it would complement its originality. But look at that, you got your pop-out windshield for ventilation. Look at that, bone stock, no frills, original type of colors, brown, no radio, no power, nothing, nothing. Windows, are side windows are still framed. Typical dark green color. It looked like it could have been a bell truck even. Wow, that's neat. I bet you it's not easy to find a bumper for one of these, eh? Can't imagine how many of them must have got bent in like that. Oh, by the way, yeah, I'm here at uh, in Regal, Quebec at the uh, Rockabilly Rumble show, yeah. So uh, it's really groovy, baby. And there's, uh, it's only cars 1981 and under, but when I came here, six years ago it was actually I think like 65 and under actually so it's, uh, it's definitely a little more uh, I guess you could say of the norm I guess that's yeah, a beauty but it's it's so rare in this in this shape in original condition it's like you'd be afraid to drive it you know